Internal Revenue Service IRS Tax News. The IRS seeking qualified applicants for the Electronic Tax Administration Advisory Committee. Wow, the IRS is seeking qualified applicants? Yeah, honestly, given this is the government, and because the government has such high moral standards, I have to assume that by qualified, they're referring specifically to skin tone and sexual orientation. Let's see, says the IRS, who's qualified to join our organization at the moment? Well, we do have a specific need for a one-armed obese little person who has a slightly green sickly skin tone and who's sexually attracted to large women dressed up as Santa Claus for some reason. Yeah, but, but what does that have to do with taxes? Shut up, bigot. Just kidding, but not really. Anyways, first a joke. President Biden was asked about inflation again and had to admit, yes, inflation is up. But who could have known that would happen? Um, sorry about pulling the plug on you and all. Uh, who could have known you'd pull through? And I mean, just like a month ago, nobody even knew what inflation even was, man. Live for another five decades. Oh, is my face red? No, I'm serious. No, I'm serious. I mean, it's like with that COVID thing. The average person on the street couldn't have even told you what a virus was before some wet market dude just ate like a virus bat who happened to be in China. But don't point fingers, you bigot, because China did everything right. No, you think I'm kidding, but no, I'm, I'm serious. No, I'm serious. I, I myself didn't even know what a piece of crap was until like an hour ago when I visited the smallest room in the White House that has like a porcelain seat in it. She's a little crazy. She thinks the monkey is the Sultan. <laughs> and like white paper stuff growing straight out of the wall, man. It's a strange place, I'm telling you. Now come along. Time to go see the doctor. Oh, hello, doctor. Mm -hmm. How are you? No, 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 not that one. Anyways, luckily, to combat this new thing called viruses, I came up with and implemented a bold strategy of wearing cloth masks. An invention, cloth masks, never before seen in the history of the world. I mean, sure, they don't do anything productive, but whatever. Yep. Well, so they don't really do anything, right? No, I'm serious. You think I'm kidding, but no. No, I'm serious. The government's invention of cloth masks will surely revolutionize the world. Beautiful, isn't it? Took me half a lifetime to invent it. I'm sure you've discovered my deep and abiding interest in pain. I mean, they're so effective after three years, we don't even know what they do yet. Uh, just like all of our policies, you know, you have to do whatever we say before you get to see the amazing unknown results of doing whatever we say. But we have to pass the bill so that you can uh, find out what is in it. I don't even get me started on the supply chain thing. I don't even want to get into the supply chain because nobody had ever even heard of a supply chain before like our, our current economic issues, especially railroad union workers. 10 years ago, how many knew what the hell a supply chain was? I mean, how would they even know what a supply chain is? I mean, not even our secretary of transportation knew what a supply chain was like a week ago. No, I'm serious. And if anybody would know what a supply chain is, it would be him because he's gay which clearly is a characteristic automatically making him qualified for, you know, any number of positions. Careful, you idiot! I said across her nose, not up it! Sorry, sir. Doing my best. Who made that man a gunner? I did, sir. He's my cousin. IR 2022-215, December 7, 2022, Washington. The Internal Revenue Service is seeking qualified applicants for nomination to the Electronic Tax Administration Advisory Committee, otherwise known as the ETAAC, which you might have thought stood for Extraterrestrial Alcoholic Anonymous Club or something like that, ETAA Club or something. But no, it's the Electronic Tax Administration Advisory Committee, although... If you happen to be an extraterrestrial alcoholic, 
you want to make sure to put that on the application because that might get you the job right there. But in any case, applications will be accepted through January 31st, 2023. The ETAAC is an organized public forum of discussion of issues in electronic tax administration, such as prevention of identity theft and refund fraud. The committee supports the overriding goal that paperless filing should be the preferred and most convenient method of filing tax inf information returns. So clearly the IRS has been transitioning and moving toward paperless filing as much as possible, as well as direct payment and so on. That is clearly a, a thing that should be easier for the IRS to be able to process things. But as that transition has taken place, there's been questions about security and so on. So clearly the goal, we're already set sail, right? We're already going towards this kind of electronic filing type of system. The question now is how can we make it as secure as possible? It looks to be the aim at this point in time. So the ETAAC members work closely with the Security Summit. There's a link to that here. A joint effort of the IRS state tax administrators and private sector tax partners to fight electronic fraud and tax related identity theft. The IRS is looking for qualified individuals who will serve three year terms beginning in September 2023. Applicants should have experience in such areas as state tax administration, cyber security and information security, tax software development, tax preparation, payroll and tax financial product processing, systems management and improvement and implementation of customer service initiatives. The IRS also strongly encourages applications from people representing the viewpoint of average taxpayers, including consumer advocates and others with an interest in tax issues. Nominations of qualified individuals may be made by letter or received from organizations or the individuals themselves. Applicants should complete the ETAAC application. There's a link to that here and include a short statement of interest and a resume. Applicants should describe and document their qualifications, past and current affiliations and dealings with cybersecurity and electronic tax administration. Applicants must complete and submit a tax check waiver form and undergo an IRS practitioner background check and an FBI background check. Information on the tax check waiver and FBI background check will be provided upon receipt of application. For more information, I uh, can be found at Electronic Tax Administration Advisory Committee. That's the ETAAC. There's a link to that here. The ETAAC is a federal advisory committee established by the Internal Revenue Service Restructuring and Reform Act of 1998. Questions about the ETAAC and the application process can be emailed to uh, publication at irs.gov. There's a, I won't say that like a hundred times because there'll be a link to this in the description. If you're interested in this, then, you know, check it out and uh, you can check it out and there'll be a link to this in the description.